everyone. Welcome to Catherine's Plate. I'm Catherine. I want to thank everyone for coming to my show today. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're not a subscriber, I'd like to welcome you to my show today, and I hope that you'll hit that subscribe button down below with the bell notification so you'll always know when my shows are posted. All right, y'all. Today is what's for dinner? <laughs> chicken fried rice in my instant pot now i have a lot of instant pot recipes and if you want to see them please go down into my description box down below and you can click on my playlist there all right today we're going to get started on this now i'm going to show you everything we're going to need and it's really simple y'all we're going to do it all in the instant pot here so what you're going to need peas and carrots we got two chicken breasts that i've just diced up into pieces We've got some garlic minced. I chopped up one onion here. We got two eggs that I've slightly beaten. I've got one cup of basmati rice. We're gonna be using some chicken broth. I've got some oil and I'm gonna show you why here in a minute. And then to season everything, we've got sesame oil, soy sauce, some black pepper and sesame seeds. All right, y'all, we're gonna get started and the first thing we're gonna do is scramble up our eggs in our Instant Pot. Let's get started. All right, y'all, so I've got my, my Instant Pot on the saute mode and I'm gonna let it get hot. And then once it gets hot, I'm gonna go ahead and add about two tablespoons of some oil to it. All right, my Instant Pot is hot inside. I'm gonna go ahead now and add about two tablespoons of oil to my pan here. And then to that, I'm gonna add my two beaten eggs that I have here. Oh, did y'all hear that? <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna take a spoon now and I'm just going to scramble these up. Now you don't want them so tiny, all right? Just scramble them up in big lots here because you want big chunks in there. Okay, y'all, look at that. That's looking good in there. I'm gonna go ahead and take those out now and reserve those for the end. So I'm just gonna put them in a bowl. All right, you don't have to get them all out, especially if they don't wanna come out. There we go. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead now and add another tablespoon of oil. And I'm gonna add my peas and carrots. Now these were frozen, so we're just gonna saute these up a little bit so they get nice and soft. And I'm just gonna cook those for about one to two minutes until they soften up. Okay, so it's been about one and a half minutes and those are looking really good in there. I tried one, they're nice and soft on the inside. So I'm gonna go ahead now and take these out. I'm gonna add them to my egg bowl here because we're gonna add these at the end. All right, y'all, we're still on the saute mode. So I'm gonna go ahead now and add another tablespoon of oil here because we're going to brown up our chicken. Actually, we're looking to cook our chicken. <laughs> All right, so this was about two chicken breasts that I've diced up into little tiny pieces here so they can cook really fast. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that to my pan here. All right, you wanna keep hearing that sizzle. That means it's nice and hot in there. Put this in a single layer. And we're gonna let these sit here for about one to two minutes. Now I'm gonna go ahead and season these with some cracked black pepper. You want to season those layers. And a little, just a little bit of salt, y'all. Not much. There we go, just like that. All right, I'm gonna let this sit for about two minutes and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna flip it over and add some other things. All right, y'all, it's been about two minutes. At this stage, I'm gonna go ahead and add my one cup of diced onion and one tablespoon of garlic, and then I'm going to mix it all up, cook it for another two minutes, and then we'll be back.
All right, so we're going to go ahead now and put this back into a single layer in there. Let it cook for another two minutes, and then we'll be right back. All right, so it's been about two minutes. I'm going to go ahead and add my basmati rice. I have one cup of it, and I'm just going to sprinkle it all inside of here, and then I'm going to saute this for about 20 seconds. All right, y'all, so while we're stirring this for the 20 seconds, we're going to go ahead and release some of those bits that are down there at the bottom, if you can see down here, and just kind of scrape it a little bit because you don't want to receive a burn notice while you're cooking this. All right, I'm going to go ahead now and add one cup of my broth here. This is a chicken stock here. All right, make sure you get all the rice and everything off the sides, scrape the sides, and then give it one more scrape on the bottom. Oh, y'all, that smells really good. We're not even there yet. <laughs> all right, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and take it off the saute mode, so we're gonna cancel everything. Put your lid on, lock it into place. Now on the back of the unit, on your knob, you want to take it off of venting and make sure that it's on a ceiling. All right, so we're going to click the rice function. 12 minutes, all right? I'll be back as soon as this comes up to pressure and then the 12 minutes are done. All right, y'all, the 12 minutes were done. We did a five minute natural release. I'm gonna go ahead now and cancel everything. All right, on the back of the unit, the knob was on ceiling. I'm gonna go ahead now and move it to venting very carefully, because there's still gonna be steam that's gonna escape. And we don't wanna take the lid off until that pin drops from the back. So we're gonna wait for that. It smells good, y'all. And there's still a few more things I gotta put in it, but it smells good. Oh, all right, I heard the pin drop. I'm gonna go ahead now, release my lid. Take my lid off, away from me. Oh, it looks so good in there. All right, we're gonna go in here and we're gonna start putting things in that we need in there now. All right, the chicken is cooked. Look at that. Looks so tender in there. All right. We're gonna go ahead now and add our peas and carrots and our eggs back in. Now, if you wanna add more egg to your fried rice, you certainly can. All you have to do is put more in when you cook them at the beginning, all right? So, all right. Oh, look at that, that's looking good. All right, let's add some flavor now. I've got three tablespoons of soy sauce. I'm gonna put in some sesame seed oil, just a little bit, like half a teaspoon. Mm, this will flavor it up. All right, give it a little bit of cracked black pepper. And we're gonna stir it all up. Mm, look at that in there. Oh, that really smells like fried rice now. Oh, I can smell that sesame oil in there. Mmm, and the soy. All right, y'all, let's plate this up, and I'm going to try it for you. Mm. All right, you know I always pile it high for y'all. No little bowls here. All right, y'all, here's my bite. Mm. That is so delicious. I feel like I'm at a Chinese restaurant, right? Mm. All right, y'all, so I added some sesame seeds to the top of it for another layer of 
Chinese flavor. Let's see. Here's that piece of chicken right there. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Perfect, y'all. Absolutely a winner in my book. All right. I want to thank everyone for coming to my show today on Instant Pot Chicken Fried Rice. Now, make sure you go down into my description box and click on the playlist for my other Instant Pot recipes that I have out there. All right, y'all, comment down below. Don't forget my thumbs up. And if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below with the bell notification so you'll always know when my shows are posted. All right, y'all, I will see you on my next episode.